Hello and welcome back to Vintage Automobilia's YouTube channel. It's January, it's a new year, new haircut, and welcome to part two of our look at our new MGB Roadster project. It's cold, so this is gonna be a short little video look around at some of the outside bodywork. We're gonna show you some bad points and things to look for on an MGB if you're looking to purchase one. And we're gonna show you some of the costs as well of what it would cost us to buy the panels and do the repair work on the things that we can see at the moment. How bad really is it? Let's take a look. If you're new and you haven't watched before, hello, I'm Doug, this is Vintage Automobilia. We are bringing you weekly videos on all things automotive memorabilia, signs, pumps, cans, as well as classic cars like our MGB Roadster. Please remember, do subscribe and press that little bell button as well. Give us a follow and keep up to date with all the latest videos that are coming to your screens. Remember, from part one, this car has spent about 31 years, thereabouts, sat off the road. It was last on the road in 1988. So here she is. She's Roadster, obviously soft top, two door, 1968 Mark II in effect. Now, straight away looking at the front, we've got some issues with this car. Where she's been sat for a few years, Something has been dripping on this aluminium bonnet, you can see there. All this beside it as well, this is tree sap. So it's been under some conifers, pine trees, something like that. It will come off, we'll do that in a video soon when we wash the car properly. But that is a bit of a shame. Not a usual area of rot on these cars because the bonnet's aluminium. Now, the wings, quite often they have had mirrors fitted. We showed that in the last video. Fortunately, this one has had a mirror fitted there and it's rotten a little bit around where it's been drilled. Common problem on MGs can be repaired. Another one around the headlights, we've got a little bit of rot there. Again, we can get a repair panel for that, but they're not too big. We could probably clean them up and with the MIG just weld those up. Although that bit there, that looks like it could be a bit more of a problem. Bit of a dent there, we can pull that out. The bottoms of the wings, don't look too bad. These can be a problem area along here. That sounds pretty solid. The front wings on this car aren't too bad. We can repair this. A little repair section for around the headlamp bezel here is about 12.95 or thereabouts. Budget 15 pounds for that, say. Um, we can fix the holes where mirrors have been on the top and we can buy little repair sections down the back here. Depending on whether you go for a quarter or a half, half being the whole thing up to the body line here, or a quarter about there, they work out around £35 upwards to about £60 for the complete panel. But if you did want to go for the whole complete wing, a brand new one will run you somewhere around £600. Not bad really, considering this car is probably ten to £12,000 in really top condition. Doors, another problem area again. These are skins on frames, so they've rotted just along there on the inside of the frame. For some reason, these have had funny little locks put in as well. Maybe a little bit of extra security with the MGB. The quarter lights where they mount here, again, that's common. I've had a few like this where they split. Obviously, there's no complete frame. It is just a window there on the door. So there's a lot of stress on the top of this, which then obviously comes down through the metal panel. This has actually had a later boot lid. This is a rubber bumper boot lid with that badge. This one should have the metal badges on. Wing tops. Now, these areas usually are a problem area on MGBs. You'll hear people talk about wing beading, which is these strips here. On a GT, it's a funny shape. On the Roadster, it's just straight. Now, this is literally just an infill beading. Often rotten where the damp sits in. Not too bad, I've got a little spot there on the wing. Another issue with Roadsters, quite often, is the rubber seal. This looks pretty good. Little split just starting to come through there. That's what happens with these. The rubber dries out, cracks, water gets underneath, rots your bulkhead. 
same problem around this side gone a little bit worse there now that is replaceable but it's a big job another problem there water sits in your air intake that should have a little mesh in there we'll get one of those and replace that that helps a little bit keeps the leaves and the dirt out but also stops the water getting directly in there is a drain at the bottom though but if they get blocked up then the water sits and lets them out so this side of the mg we've got the flat tire there straight away so that makes things difficult but looks pretty good in the wheel arch to be honest and the bottom of the wing again pretty good these do rot out because obviously there's a sill behind there just a bit of flaky paint someone has put stone trip on here at some point not too sure what the rubber bung is for probably an aerial or something that's been on the side again it's had mirrors fitted which have not done too badly actually holes there it's rotten at the top for some reason that i think is where it's been dripped on door this one isn't too bad a little bit of bubbling and rust there similar to the other side can be rectified it's more the fit of this one it's a little bit out of alignment a ah, little bit of a hole there on the back of the wing rear wings now these are a bit more of a problem than the old mgs you can see the bubbles in this one the wheel arch and i think there's been a fair bit of filler in that as well so you can buy this section up to the trim line as a panel so it could be cut out and replaced you can buy the inner wing halves as well they're in two clam like sections so same as the other side we have a wheel arch issue but not as bad along the top of the arch and toward the back so that would probably get away with a little repair panel you could weld in there so those are the rear wings. I think realistically, with all the filler that we can see on this side particularly, this is the driver's side, the off side of the car here in the UK. I think with all that there, you would definitely want to do a half wing. Now you can get a panel like this. i put it up here. That half wing welded in up to the beading that line there is around 130 pounds. You can buy a complete wing up to this top beading here so that would give you the whole of this panel for around £300. But the beading's pretty good. That is the best I've seen on an original car for a long time. Normally all bubbled and rotten. On the side again, really good. I'm pleased with that seam along there. And you can buy a little quarter panel that would just fill this section if you only had a little bit of rot like that for around £50 for a little panel in there. You can also buy the arch repair panels for up inside here those start at a kit again for around £30. But we have some sill issues here as well. So that I think, looking at the shape of the bottom of that sill as well, it's going to need inner and outer sills and castle rails as well, which is a common MG problem. In fact, yeah, it's a bit soft and hollow. Actually, I'll just put my finger through there. Okay, sills are a definite on both sides. Now these sills are a real common problem on the MGB of all ranges, whether it's the soft top, the GT hard top, whether it's an early car, late car, um, they tend to rot out quite easily. A sill kit for this car will cost you around 200 pounds. I looked it up today, January 2021, and it's 189 pounds with the VAT on one website that I found. Now that would be a heritage kit, which are pressed on original presses. Those are sort of your higher level quality of panels, really. There are others available. Some kits, like the one shown here in the picture, come as a six part kit. This includes the jacking point at the bottom, the little strengthener that it needs, as well as a closing plate for the back of the outer sill. Some seven part kits will give you the very inner sill, the closing plate on the inside of the car. So I have an LED lamp here. Let's see if I can get the camera under the car and we'll have a quick look at those sills and castle rails, as well as the floor pans if we can see them, just to see how bad they really are. So here we go under the driver's side. You can see some rot here in the sill. It's a bit low to the ground, unfortunately. That doesn't look good there, does it? There's around the jacking point. And this is under the passenger side, the near side of the car. 
And there's been some patches and some work under here before, by the looks of things. There's the jacking point. There's a bit of rot under here we can see. This is toward the back of the car now. So there we are, a quick look around our MGB Roadster project. Uh, that's it for this week. We'll try and bring you a couple more updates soon as possible. We're gonna wash the car off. We're waiting for some new parts to arrive as well. We're waiting for a battery. We're gonna soak the bores a little bit and try and turn the engine over and get it started if we can as well. But that's just a quick look around the bodywork, um, giving us an idea of what we need to put together and what welding work we might need to do to repair the car and get her back on the road. Thanks for watching. Join us again next time. Please remember, do subscribe and press that little bell button as well. Give us a follow and keep up to date with all the latest videos that are coming to your screens. This is Vintage Automobilia. We'll see you again soon. Stay safe. Bye.